this uh, Patriots rookie kicker, Justin Warwasser, uh, he has this tattoo, and it has the number three and some stars and stripes on that. And this refers to this idea that only 3% of Americans in the Revolutionary War fought for the Patriot side. And the rest were either neutral or they supported the British or they, they wouldn't actually put their money where their mouth is and stand up against British tyranny. Uh, this is an idea that's got longstanding in American history. And then this idea of the 3% came up during the Tea Party movement over the last 10, 12 years or so. So this uh, rookie kicker has got that little tattoo on. And now the American culture is trying to shame him, tell him that it, that's actually racist and bigoted and evil and terrible and awful if he identifies with the American Revolution. So he was brought on a local news program and he was basically just bullied into removing the tattoo. Here's Rohrwasser. I uh, went on to Twitter and um, I, I saw the tweet and I saw that someone had taken a picture of me and uh, put it with, you know, my tattoo and linking me to some um, horrific events, you know, it, obviously Charlottesville and these horrible things. Why is this just coming up now? I mean, did this come up at all when you were in Marshall? No, no, uh, never. It was, you know, the first time I found out what it was linked to was on, you know, on Saturday. And that's, that's why it was, you know, so, uh, that's, that's why it was so surprising. When did you get the tattoo, Justin? Uh, when, well, when I was 18, I got it. And it was described to me as, you know, the, the, the percentage of colonists that, rose up against the authoritarian government of the British. And I was like, wow, that's such a, you know, American sentiment, a patriotic sentiment. Um, and you know, coming from a, a military family, I, uh, I, I thought that really spoke to me. And I, I uh, you know, I, I, I always was proud to be an American. I'm very proud. Ah, uh, that's the problem. You're not allowed to have any feeling of loyalty to your country anymore. That's the problem. Listen to the way this is being framed. Saying, well, did you know that you're actually a racist, neo-Nazi, skinhead, alt-right, fascist, terrible person when you got that tattoo? And the guy goes, no, I didn't know that. I thought it was the American Revolution and the 3% that fought the British and I love my country and I've got a lot of military members in my country and I'm not a bad guy. Why? I'm not allowed to support the American Revolution anymore. And no, you're not. The way they link it, they're talking about uh, all these awful bigots and people and events. Well, I, I did a little look into the 3% thing. I mean, it's a totally disparate group of people. So it's, you know, people can wear it and not even know that there are any organizations called the 3%. But I said, okay, well, maybe look, maybe the 3% organization is actually a bigoted, terrible hate group. Well, I looked into it. And after Charlottesville, you know, after the the alt-right rally at Charlottesville, uh, there was a, a group of the 3% people, which was the National Council, and they said explicitly, we will not align ourselves with any type of racist group. For the, you know, if one or two people who have the 3% tattoo showed up to this thing, they shouldn't do it, don't do it, we don't support this, we disavow it. And yet this guy is being shamed for it. That's a strange culture. I mean, that, that wouldn't have happened 50 years ago. If you said 50 years ago, yeah, I really support the American Revolution, you would not have been shamed out of football. But now football is an, is an anti-American activity, right? I mean, we now have league-wide protests of the American flag, not just league-wide protests of the cops, not just league-wide protests of the military, not just league-wide protests of Donald Trump, league-wide protests of the American flag, which is the symbol of the country itself in our sporting events, and sports are always patriotic. That is in the nature of games, of sports. Something has gone terribly wrong here.